This video is a full step-by-step -step help guide for the Cluck and Bell farm raid that just came into Grand Theft Auto Online. So we're going to be going through all the missions, which there are going to be five prep setup missions. And then after that, we're going to be doing the raid. So this is the location right here in which you're going to have to travel to to go ahead and start these missions up. So the very first one, we're just going to go ahead and get this going. And then there's going to be a whole bunch of other ones here. There's only going to be six of them. And the very last one is actually going to be the raid itself. So we're going to go ahead and get through these five preps and setups. We're going to be going through everything a player needs to know. And just to let you know about this too, what should I put it on? Normal, hard, easy? Well, the difficulty that you put it on is going to determine your payout at the very end. So if you're doing all the missions on hard mode, you're going to end up getting a half of a million dollars at the end of doing all these preps and setups and then, you know, actually doing the raid itself. So here's something that I've been doing is calling up my armored Karuma. The armored Karuma is going to save you some heartache while you're doing these missions here because every single mission we're going to get a chance to go ahead and call up an armored Karuma to take us to these locations in which we need to travel to which this location right here we're going to have to travel to two locations and we're going to be going to money laundering and we're just going to go ahead and steal the money that is in these dryers here. So just be mindful too, there's going to be some NPC enemies in here. And then after you grab some cash, most likely what's going to happen is there's going to be another NPC that's going to spawn in and try to shoot you right about now. Yep. So make sure you have a weapon ready to go. And then here we go. We just got to go ahead and hit up this second dryer right here. And then go ahead and grab all this cash. There we go. Now there's going to be a second location in which we have to travel to here we go go to this location once again npcs get in here this is gonna do this just came out of a room over there so hurry up and get him before he gets me oh life is a little bit low there so we're just gonna have to grab all this cash real quick fill up the bags this is the money that we're gonna need to go ahead and get this actually started and there we go. So all we got to do is just go ahead and travel on back to where we need to and turn in the cash and we should be good to go. Then we're going to head on back to Vincent's police department. Oh, got the cops on me. We're going to hurry up and start this up. So we got weapons, weapon equipment, and then we got vehicles and we got some more preps and setups. We're just going to go ahead and get this one started real quick. Once again, we're going to go ahead and put this on hard mode because putting these on hard mode is going to be the end equivalent of how much money we're actually going to get paid. Once again, if you put them all on hard mode and you complete them all on hard mode, you're going to get paid a half of a million dollars. So once again, we're going to grab this armored Karuma because this thing is going to keep us safe from all the bullets. And then we're going to head to the docks. We're going to go to a couple locations here. First things first, we need to find a dude that's going to be playing a video game. So there's going to be video game machines down here. We don't get to play them, but NPCs do, I guess. And we're going to be looking for a computer. So there's the guy right there. Scared him off with my gun. Grab the computer, hop back in the car, and then we can head to the next location. So the next location we're going to need to find is going to be a terabyte. And then from here, there's going to be a whole bunch of drones that pop out of this thing. So you guys are going to need a decent gun. And make sure you don't get shot because these drones have bullets. If you can imagine how scary that would be, you know, a drone flying around in your neighborhood, but it has a gun attached to it. <laughs> See, the drones are coming out here. I was trying to use the assault shotgun to damage them. So I was taking a little bit of damage, but not terribly too much from the drones themselves. And then once you destroy all the drones, we're going to go inside of the terabyte. There's going to be something in here we're going to need to grab. So we're just going to find that. Looks like that right there. Go ahead and grab that. I'm going to turn around real quick and grab that gun. There you go. Do a little extra ammo for me. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and exit the terabyte and head to the next location in which it tells us to go to, which is going to be the train area. So there's going to be a bunch of NPCs down here. And one of these NPCs has a key. So that's what we're looking for right now. We're just going to go ahead and kill these NPCs super easy. And I am super protected. This is almost cheating. The fact that I get to use an armored Karuma for these missions makes the missions that much more easier. So we're just going to go ahead and keep destroying these people here, these NPCs, and looking for that key. Once again, one of these NPCs, random NPCs, should have a key. So I was just driving my armored crew around and getting rid of all the NPCs, just like this. There you go. Now, once we do kill an NPC, it should tell us which one has a key. So that's what I'm looking for right now. Oh, there it is right there, it looks like. Gonna jump out, grab that key real quick. 
And now it's time to go ahead and get in the train, which is actually the very first time and the only time I think we ever get to drive a train here in Grand Theft Auto Online. Well, Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. So we actually get to go into the train and get this thing going. So what's going to happen here is we're going to go to these areas and the train is going to want to lock up. So all you have to do, simply just press right on the D-pad and keep holding down the gas button. You will have enemy NPCs that are going to try to stop you, but there's nothing that can stop a train in GTA 5 online. Especially if you've been ever experienced trying to stop a train. They're unstoppable here. So we're just going to keep going, keep going. There's going to be a bunch of different areas here. Like here's another one right here where it's actually going to try to lock up the brakes on the train and stop the train. But all you have to do is just keep holding down the gas button and just press right on the D-pad. Man, that helicopter shouldn't have been parked there. Yeah, there's nothing that can stop a train. I wish that we could go ahead and take the train over like this in regular online sessions, but unfortunately we can't. So we're just going to keep going. Here's another one right here. I think this is the last one. So they're trying to stop me. You see I'm slowing down a little bit. It's not because of that thing in the front. All right, there we go. Last one. And then from here, I think it's just a, a smooth sailing into the tunnel. And then once we get into the tunnel, we should be able to go ahead and finish this prep setup real quick for the train. Because the train is how we're going to be getting out there. So there's two different approaches too, which we'll be talking about. There's going to be an aggressive and there's also going to be a stealth. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and set up the weapons. And we're going to be setting up also after that, we're going to go for the vehicles. So this one right here is going to be a three part. So once again, we're going to set this to hard mode. And then I want to be going over all the locations. So there's going to be three locations for the guns. There's also for the next mission, there's going to be three locations for all of the vehicles and we're going to be going over all of those locations and you know what we're going to go ahead and do this with so we got three different locations in which you're going to be getting weapons and armor and masks and stuff from and you can just choose whatever one that you want once again i'm going to be using this armored karuma because the armored karuma is going to be the best vehicle that's going to keep me alive survival and it actually allows us to use an armored karuma we got other vehicles that it looks like it'll allow me to use but the armored karuma personally is going to be the best one just because we're extra protected from bullets while we're driving that. Now, once again, we got three different locations. You do not have to go to all three locations. There's a location out there. That's the military one. And then there's one over there. That's the gangbanger one. And then we got one out here. So we're going to go to all three of these just to show you where all of the items are that you need to collect. So first things first, we're going to go to the gang area here. And there's going to be a box and then there's also going to be a blue duffel bag that we're gonna go ahead and collect So there's the box right there. It should be there every single time We're just gonna go ahead and get rid of these gangbangers real quick And then once again just to remind you no, we do not have to collect all three of these locations We just have to go to one of the locations collect the items and then we are good to go And then head on back to the garage to turn them in and then at that time, you would just go ahead and get a hold of Vincent and then choose which weapons you're wanting to use at this time for the approach. That's why we have three different choices here for what type of weapons that we want to use while we're actually doing the farm raid mini heist or heist itself, I guess. So once again, I've already grabbed the box and I'm clearing out the NPCs because the next thing that we need to get is the duffel bag. The duffel bag is going to be located I believe in one of these cars, if not all the cars. So we just have to go ahead and make sure that we don't get out of the vehicle and get shot and die. Because once again, reminder, I did put this on hard mode. So if I die one time, that means it's just going to go ahead and restart and send me probably back to the, uh, the beginning here, which we don't want to have happen. All right, there we go. Clear out the NPCs. And then we're just going to go ahead and go up to the trunk over here. And we should be seeing a blue duffel bag inside the trunk. There it is. We're going to grab that. Now, we can take this stuff and go ahead and turn it in. But what I would like to do is just show you the other two locations which we're going to be going over. So this location right here, super easy. All you got to do is just go in, take out some of those gangbangers, and then from there, grab your box and then grab your duffel bag. So here's the military one way out here. This one's going to be a little bit more challenging because these dudes got machine guns and they got a little bit of armor too. So the duffel bag is actually right in front of me. If you can see it on that box over there, it's the camo one right there. So we're just going to take out these NPCs, drive around in the armored Karuma to stay protected while we clear out some of these NPCs so I can actually get out of the car 
and then go collect that duffel bag. And then inside of the hangar over there is going to be the actual box. So it looks like we cleared this out good enough. Park the car. Oh, there's another last guy right there. I'm gonna get him. And you can only shoot out of certain angles out of your car. So you have to like angle your car a certain way to be able to shoot out of it. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and try to get out real quick. Oh, guy over there, got him. I don't know if there's a guy over here. Yeah, you just wanna be careful too that you don't die. And then also too, you can just go ahead and bring in a whole bunch of snacks and armor. That's not gonna affect any of your career challenges or anything like that, which there is brand new challenges right here, career challenges in the game that has to deal with this new raid that just came in. All right, so right in here, the hangar. So there's gonna be a couple dudes. There's like a guy right there and there's gonna be another guy right by the box. There he is right there, kind of guarding it. Take him out. There's a dude over here. Got to get him because he's just going to sit there and shoot me if I step out of the car. There you go. And then when you're shooting NPCs, make sure you see those numbers come off of them because that means that they're dead. All right. So we got the box. Now, if you guys were doing the military one right there, those are the locations. And then all you have to do from here is just head on back to the garage, turn them in, and then just text Vincent. And then that's what you're going to be going after. But from here, we're going to show you real quick and a little bit of speeded up. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and find a sea shark over here. We're going to have to get into a sea shark. And then we're gonna go over to the yacht. There's once again, there's going to be a box over here and there's also going to be a duffel bag. So we're gonna swim up here and on the bottom level, I think I'm gonna end up missing it, but I'll show you in here. There's going to be a box at the very end down here. It can be a little bit hard to spot. And one thing too, watch out for all the NPCs. Be sure to snack up, armor up. So there's the box right there. I just actually ran right past it. So we're just going into the inside quarters. Bam, there's our duffel bag right there. And then what I decided to do is just go ahead and take a look around because once again, I was looking for that box. I did not notice it. And then we we're just making sure that we clear this place out too because I didn't want any shotgunners that are sitting in corners or anything like that. You know, just some NPC with a shotgun just sitting in a corner waiting to sh shoot you in the head. All right, so we gotta go back in here it looks like. Yep, see, more dudes on the boat. Just trying to clear the boat out a little bit too because we gotta make an escape off this boat. So the box and the duffel bag should be in the exact same places because I've already ran this a few times and every single time that I've done this and I've gone and gotten these weapons, they've always been in the same spot. So this is just the weapons, the armor, and the masks again that we're getting here and it's from the yacht. So we've already done the gangbanger, we've done the military, and we've done this. And then once again, reminder, you do not have to do all three of these. You only have to do one and that's gonna be up to you what your choice is for whatever you want to do here for your weapons so right there there's the box i ended up finding it and then from here all we got to do is just go ahead and make our escape head on back to the garage and then call up vincent well not call him up but we're gonna text him good one gravesite nice dive there yeah we're gonna go ahead and text him and we are going to choose what weapons we want to go and take into the raid okay so it's either going to be the yacht weapons that we got, it's going to be the military weapons that we got on Sandy Shores, and or it's going to be the gangbanger weapons, which are all weapons you'd have to use if you were trying to complete the career challenge. So here we are, back at the garage, and then there you go. So we've got a few turned in. We've got a couple choices here. So we're just going to go ahead and pop up on our phone, text Vincent, and then choose which one do we want to use here. What guns are we using and what gear are we using? So this is guns and gear right here that you're going to be choosing. And then next after this, we're going to be going after the getaway vehicles and the best way to get those getaway, the getaway vehicles. All right, so there we go. We got that one. Go ahead and complete it there. All right, mission passed. So we're getting closer. So once again, next thing, we're going to be going after the vehicles. And then once again, also for a reminder, there's going to be three different getaway vehicles. And I'm going to show you all three different getaway vehicles. You don't need three getaway vehicles. As a matter of fact, you don't even need a getaway vehicle. And I'll be talking about that once we get to the actual getaway vehicle itself. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and grab some armor, put it on hard mode, because just a reminder, if we put it on hard mode, that's going to count towards the equivalent of how much money we're going to be making towards the end. So if we put it on easy and we did every mission on easy mode, we're not going to be getting paid as much money at the end. 
which is why we want to put it on hard mode when we only have one life too so once again we're gonna call up my mechanic and we're gonna go ahead and request that armored Karuma it seems like every single time that we start up one of these missions I have to call up my mechanic and I have to request that armored Karuma just so I can not get shot so for this one right here once again we got three locations here's one of the locations right there that's gonna be for the military that's gonna be for something else uh, the gangbanger and then we have another location as well for the professionals that we're gonna be going after so you can pop up on your phone you can see the vehicles right here on the phone so those are the vehicles that we can choose from once again we only have to get one getaway vehicle and it doesn't matter necessarily the getaway vehicle because I'm just gonna tell you right now when it comes to the getaway vehicle it seems like um, it doesn't matter we can just go to the street and call up a personal vehicle so from here we got this military vehicle here it's a cargo Bob carrying it looks to be a Humvee or something from the Kyle Perico. So all we're going to simply do is we need to shoot that cargo bob with a sniper rifle. And then what's going to happen is the cargo bob is going to blow up. It's going to drop that vehicle. And then from there, we're going to chill out just for a second and then wait for all of the barrages to drive away and then make sure that there's no enemies. And we should just be able to hop in the vehicle from there and then just go ahead and drive it way on out to Polito Bay. This is for the military one. This is if you're wanting to use this one. Although I'm gonna let you know right now, this is probably the worst vehicle because it just, it goes really slow and it's got like open windows and stuff like that. So yeah, you're gonna have to shoot the helicopter down. It's the only way to have that thing drop. It's not like we're going somewhere and it's just gonna drop it. And then for the helicopters, just shoot the pilots. Look at this. There it is. Oh, oh, hold on. I got them. All three of them. There's another one right there, too. Yeah, just like this. So we're just going to snipe them. Bam, there you go. Drop the vehicle. And then all we got to do is just go scoop it up. Just make sure that you wait just a, like a minute for all of the enemies to drive away. And then we can just go up here real quick and then just grab this vehicle and we should be good to go. Just once again, remember that this thing does not go very fast. And if you do have enemy NPCs that are chasing you, be sure to have your interaction menu open and probably getting ready to eat some snacks and or shoot or throw some sticky bombs, something like that. But just be mindful too that this thing is not armored and it does not want to take a lot of damage. So here we go. We're way out in Kyle, or not in Kyle, but we're way out in Polito Bay. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing in. Might as well be out in Kayo. Far enough out. All right, so there we go. Now, you only need one getaway vehicle, but I'm gonna show you the other two vehicles and what you have to do to get those real quick. So this vehicle right here is the uh, is the uh, professional's vehicle. This is probably one of the better vehicles in my opinion. It's pretty fast and it's uh, pretty nice. It's not as good as the armored Karuma, but once again, just uh, keep this in your mind that we don't necessarily like, you know, we're not going to be using the getaway vehicle necessarily. I mean, you can, but also we're going to have the chance to be able to call up a personal vehicle while we're ending the raid and getting rid of the cops and stuff like that. So you have like a really fast vehicle because once again, just a reminder, like we're going to be doing a raid out in Polito Bay and we got to go all the way back to the city. So you're going to want a fast car for that, right? Yeah, here we go. So there's all these professional dudes in here and then the car is like right off to the right of me once again just using the armored karuma as bulletproof and then from here we're just gonna go ahead and take out these npcs once it's cleared up enough i'm gonna get out of this thing bam clear any other enemies out jump in this car real quick and we're gonna need to jump out of this area so you guys may have a different location than me but you're always gonna have to go into some hairy situation right there with the professionals to get that car and then of course before we turn this in we will need to repair it i believe the same thing with the other car too that we're gonna be looking at in just a second here so we're just gonna go ahead and turn this thing in real quick and then bing bang boom we got ourselves another getaway vehicle although that doesn't matter no you do not need more than one getaway vehicle you only need one getaway vehicle and this right here is probably the better one of all of them just because it's uh it's pretty fast all right so next location is gonna take you to this location maybe so you're gonna have to look for a box okay look for a box and shoot it and then it's gonna open up the garage and then inside of the garage is going to be this other car it's a four-door it's not as good as I would say the professionals car but it's fairly this is probably the easiest car to get 
compared to all the other ones. So yeah, this would be the easiest car to get. And then from there, once we return all of the cars, we can just go ahead, or whatever car that we want, you just go ahead and pop open your phone and text Vincent. And then from here, once again, just like the weapons and the gear, we're going to be choosing what getaway vehicle that we want to use. Although it doesn't really matter because once again, while we're at that final stage and we are leaving Cluck and Bell, we can actually just call up our mechanic and request a personal vehicle at that time. So here we go. We got that one passed. We're getting a lot closer here to the very end. And then just a reminder as well, there's going to be two approaches that you can do. There's an aggressive approach and there's a stealth approach. All right, so this is the last setup before the actual raid itself. So let's go ahead and knock this one out. We're going to have to do a few things here. Once again, let's put that on hard mode. Let's grab some armor and let's go ahead and start this up real quick. And then, of course, just like always, we're using the armored Karuma. We're going to take it to a location where there's going to be two vans. You're going to have to hack the vans. Now, if there's people that start to shoot at you and you have an armored Karuma, just do what I do right here. Just lift them up. <laughs> and now they can't do anything. You can't shoot me. What are you going to do? <laughs> I got you. I got a piggyback ride. Get out of here. I just hacked them. Same thing with the second dude. They cause you a little bit of grief. You caused them a little bit of grief back. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm not going to be able to shoot me. Even if you're in a regular car, you should be able to do that. All right, now it's going to take you to this location. And I want you to pay attention here because there's going to be a couple different variations here. For This is, I believe, going to determine what approach you're going to be able to get for the actual, you know, farm raid itself, whether it's going to be silent and sneaky or whether it's going to be aggressive. So I believe when you're going through here, you want to make sure that you're silent and sneaky. Try not to alert anybody. And if you do alert anybody, hurry up and uh, murder them. There's also going to be in this back room, there's going to be a video camera tape that we're going to go ahead and grab just in case that we got spotted. So there you go. There's, there's a dude and the murder just went crazy right here at this time. There it is. All right, so from here, we're gonna have to go ahead and go grab that stuff. I'm just clearing out the room real quick so there's no more NPCs in here. We're gonna go into this room. There you go, hack this, grab that, get the camera footage so they don't have any evidence of us even being here. And then we're gonna go ahead and have to mess with these engines. Just gonna rip some wires out real quick, I think. That'll, that'll do it, huh? Let's go ahead and Reach right in that engine and just pull some wires out of there. They're not important. Probably they are. And then here's another one. There's going to be like four of those. All right. So one more thing that we're going to have to do is somewhere we got a drill. We don't know where we got the drill, but we did, we got one. It's in the duffel bag. And then from here, we're just going to go ahead and drill these. And what we're looking for here is a key, I believe. And if you want to, you can drill all of them. I believe that they do have money and stuff of them. Some of them do. But from here, this is going to go ahead and determine that we're doing this the actual... We're going to be doing this the stealth way. So this is not going to be the aggressive way because I went ahead and initiated, you know, the stealth way. So we're going to be doing the raid, the stealth way itself. Even though I think the uh, career challenge is probably going to be a little bit bugged. Just like all the career challenges. But once I complete those, we'll be talking about that. All right, so there we go. That's what we need. So we're going to be grabbing that truck. If you don't grab the truck, then it's going to be the aggressive way. And the aggressive way is just like you're just rolling in right with the train. Same way, because that's going to be our approach vehicle. All right, so there's all five of our setups. We got those completed. Super easy, super fast. Not really the fastest, but here we go. We're going to be setting this on hard mode. Let's grab some armor again, and then let's go ahead and start this up. Immediately, what's going to happen here, seeing as how this is the stealth approach, we're going to be getting ourselves right to Cluck and Bell farm raid immediately. No travel time, which is really great. It's not making us, like, drive a car somewhere. So here we go. So this is going to be the stealth approach, and I just want to go ahead and go through this and try to be stealthy. Even though something that did happen to me, and I don't know if it's bugged or what the deal is with it, is I did end up getting spotted. Although you'll notice during this game footage that I'm about to show you here is I don't I don't think I did get spotted. All right, there it is. We're in we're in that cluck and bell box. All right, so we have this at normal speed, just so you guys can go ahead and pause it if you need to. 
just to show you where all the guards are and everything else. So once we go in here, in a stealthy way, shoot that. That's going to open up this door right here. And we're going to be sneaking our way through. And we're going to go here because why? This is where our loadouts are, okay? So remember those loadouts that we got? Oh, dude, right there. Yeah, so we just grabbed our loadouts that we need that are all going to be right there. So that's all you have to do in the very beginning is in this like little secret location. It's not really a secret, but it's like a little part where there's garbage and stuff like that. And it's where your gear is going to be. So you can go ahead and grab your gear. Headshots. If you're doing it the stealthy way, you want to be going through here. Don't let anybody see you and make sure they're nothing but headshots here. And then also another tip is watch your mini map. So you should notice on your mini map cameras and or bad guys. It's like that guy right there. It wasn't looking right. All right. Shoot that. Open this door up. Guys coming through. Headshot right there. Amazing. We'll see how many more headshots I can get here without messing this up. Oh, got a lot of dudes. Headshot. Headshot, headshot, headshot. <laughs> you gotta love auto aim, huh? Do you see all those? Do you see all those? Oh my god, look at all those headshots. How did I get that other headshot? <laughs> I don't even know. That was a magic bullet right there. That was amazing. Nobody's seen me, right? Did I get spotted? There's no alarm going off. All right, so right in front of us is going to be a door. To the basement and we're gonna go down there here in a second so this is gonna be the first room that we're gonna have to go into so this is part one of what we have to do real quick don't don't really worry about too much of what's going on in that room we can handle that now there are gonna be some NPC guards down here so if you want to do this stealthy I would just suggest make sure also that you have a weapon that has a silencer on it that's that's one thing that's definitely key here for doing anything stealthy in Grand Theft Auto so here we go Headshot, headshot, and headshot. They're all looking the other way. And then down here, we're just going to go ahead and grab, I believe, there is weed and cocaine, or there's just cocaine. I don't know what that is. We're getting drugs down here. This is going to be important. We're going to fill our duffel bag all the way up with all the drugs that are down here. All right. So no, no wonder that the chicken was so finger licking because they're, they're putting cocaine in it. No wonder I couldn't just have one bucket of chicken. <laughs> Chicken's so good, my mouth is numb. My whole face is, <laughs> is numb. All right, we're going to grab all this. Fill up your duffel bag. We got to get all this. All right, next pile. So you can just imagine, too, if you had more people here, you'd be filling up your bag a lot quicker. But I just wanted to show you that this can be done completely solo from start to finish so where you do not have to rely on any other player you can just do this yourself it's just gonna be you some guns and, and an armored Karuma possibly all right so we're done there got all the drugs out of there all right now we're gonna be going into the next room and something I was deciding that I wanted to do is kind of clear this place out a little bit headshot headshot let's watch my mini map here I don't know if there's a dude coming right around the corner here Oh, it's like a bunch of dudes right there, huh? Headshot. Headshot. This is actually a pretty decent gun right through here. Oh, I think there's a dude coming. There he is. Is he going to turn around or not? Is he on a cell phone? Damn, headshot. Yeah, there's another room, but once again, I wanted to clear this place out. Headshot, headshot. Man, too bad there's not a headshot challenge for this place. I'm, pre I'm pretty good with the headshots here. All right, so keys right there. You got to find the keys. That's the second thing that you're going to do. It's going to show them on your mini-map. So once again, pay attention to that mini-map. And then from here, we're going to go back, back, back. Because we're going to go to this room right here. This is what we needed the keys for, I believe. 
Oh no, we need the keys for the actual door up there. So we're using the key card for this. So this is the second room that we're going to be going into. This is the actual room. It's just a cut and copy. You may have seen this before. There's only going to be two dudes in here. One off to the left, one off to the right. Headshot, headshot. Good to go. And then there's going to be these boxes. So we got to crowbar these boxes open. And then what we're looking for here is the goodies. So we, just, we just need to find those. Damn, there you go. We gotta check all the boxes though too. So there's gonna be a few boxes. Some may have some stuff in it and others may not. But it'll show you on the mini map there like all the boxes that you have to open up. All cluck and bell boxes. Full of things that will make us money. Alright, I think this is the last box right here. There it is. Grab the goods. And we should be good to go at this time. Now, since we already found the keys, we're going to go to the office, I think. And then after that, we're going to bust out. And we're going to do some Ghostbuster with our little Ghostbusting Hunter machines. I'm not sure what they are. Little scanners. We're going to get the code for the safe in here. So open up the door. Then we're going to notice that there's a safe in here. Computer. Go to the computer. Pick that up. Bing, bang, boom. All right, now, once again, we're going to have to go back out. We're going to use this thing. So it's a little scanner, and just go ahead and go to these computers, because I believe it's the actual computers themselves. Oh, got that one, I think. There's, like, another computer right here. Yep, computer. And there should be another location. Right back here. There you go. So we're hacking this with this little machine right here and this is actually going to give us the number that we need to punch into the safe so there it is right there okay, got my number done. for the safe and i have done this three times at least so far and the numbers changed every time so it's not like it's going to be the same number every single time all right so we're going to go ahead and punch this in real quick super easy we've dealt with these safes before there's a safe just like this over in kyle perico There it is. 44, 5, 34, I think, yeah. All right, so that's the last of it right there. Now it is time to make our daring escape. Now, when I shoot this, there's going to be a bunch of cops that are going to end up running. So what you should do right now is just book it and watch out. You know, shoot any NPCs that you have to because you don't want to take a bunch of damage here and die or anything like that on, on your daring escape. Because once again, there will be uh, my character, like, I don't know what he's doing, dude. I, like, tried to run out this way, and my character didn't know what he's doing. Yes, yeah, so we're just going for the getaway vehicle at this time. Now, once again, once you go into the garage and you get the getaway vehicle, you can actually lose the cops, and you can just call up your own personal vehicle at that time, like a fast vehicle. And just to let you know, too, you're going to end up losing the cops a lot easier if you go into the garage and you take a right. If you take a right down the train tracks, there's going to be a tunnel down there in which you can go ahead and get rid of these police. And then from there, it should just be smooth sailing on back to the city. So here's the vehicle. This is actually like the worst vehicle. Once again, getaway vehicle doesn't really matter too much. And if you are driving vehicles also, maybe think about popping open your interaction menu and going to the snacks section and just getting ready to spam some snacks just in case you end up getting shot. So one of the better ways here, yep, we're just going to take these train tracks and we're just going to keep going until we get to the tunnel, lose the cops, and then from there, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a personal vehicle because I don't want to drive this thing all the way back to the city when it's slow and I own vehicles that are 50 times faster than this slow, slow thing, but there you go. So there shouldn't be any cops on the train tracks, and hopefully you don't see the train or anything like that either. But I did pop open my interaction menu, and I am ready to spam some snacks just in case. So there is a tunnel coming up here, and I believe if you go in the tunnel far enough, there's going to be another tunnel beyond that. Uh, it's going to be past the bridge, and then from there you should just be able to wait in the tunnel and hopefully be able to get rid of the police that is going to be chasing you right now. I believe that's a four stars. So there you go. Grab the personal vehicle, and there we go. Go back to the city, and we're done. That's it. That is the entire raid right there. Excellent work. 
with a few different options between guns, gear, and escape vehicles. Escape vehicles not really being that much important. And then also, reminder, as long as you're putting these on hard mode, you're going to be able to get the maximum amount of money out of here, which is going to be a half of a million dollars every single time and then you can be setting these up of course with people but i just wanted to show you that this can be done completely solo so once again you don't have to rely on other players necessarily which is really great and hopefully they implement more solo things in like grand theft auto 6 heists and things like that because it can be a little bit trouble sometimes sometimes looking for players uh to help you get things done necessarily fresh off the line Yep, and there's his brand new vehicle that just came into the game, the Hellcat cop car, which is for a purchase right now. And then I believe after we go ahead and beat this raid, we get the trade value price on that, which knocks it all the way down. Instead of 5.5 million, it is the 4 million. So there it is right there, half of a million dollars. This is a step-by-step -step help guide to go ahead and walk you through everything that needs to be done. And then also I went over all of the weapons and all of the escape vehicles in which you guys could go ahead and choose from just to show you that part of it. And we will have all this stuff, you know, timelined down in the, uh, the end of the video itself. So anyways, from there, if you guys enjoyed this and it was helpful, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new so you don't miss out on daily Grand Theft Auto 5 online videos. Check out the channel because we got lots of other awesome videos just like this to so go ahead and help you out in Grand Theft Auto 5. But from there, thank you all for watching and supporting the channel. My name is Gravesight, the Green Alien, and I'm out of here. So peace!